Hello everyone. Today I will introduce the flooding analysis function in the terrain module of LiDAR 360. Flooding analysis is a common application in hydrological geographic information system, primarily used to simulate and predict the areas potentially affected by flooding. You can find this function under the analysis tools menu in the terrain module or search flooding analysis in the toolbox and double clicking to activate. In the pop-up of the flooding analysis tool, first add the digital elevation model dem file as the base. Regions of interest is optional. If an interest area vector file is input, only the vector region will be analyzed. Building file is also optional. Adding a building vector file, you can get the analysis result, such as the number of affected buildings and the impacted areas. The minimum slope parameter is for filling depressions in DEM data. The accumulation method is used for flow accumulation, currently supports D8, D-Infinity, and MFD methods. Flow threshold is used for stream network extraction. Regions exceeding this value will be considered to form water flow. Water level height refers to the current water level height, will be accumulated with the precipitation amount to calculate the final water level height. Amount of precipitation is measured in millimeters. Precipitation affects water levels in each watershed, ultimately impacting flooded areas. Finally, set the output path for the flooding analysis results and related reports. Click OK and wait for the results to generate. Add the generated project data to view the flooding analysis results, which provide vector boundaries and raster models of flooded areas. You can also review the flooding analysis report at the output path. That concludes the explanation of the flooding analysis function. Thank you for watching.